What? <laughs> what happened? I'm recording so that Cute. I can share it with um, Cameron when her computer comes back up. She can rewatch the lesson. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys, we're going to get through it. It's just digital art. You know what I'm saying? This ain't, this ain't rocket oh, yeah. This ain't rocket surgery, as they say. You know why that's funny? Because there's no such thing as rocket surgery. <laughs> I don't get a word. Well, because it's rocket science and brain surgery. But if you say rocket surgery, that's not a thing. <laughs> I still don't get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, you don't get it, but it's funny. Okay, we're going to go back to the end of the tail. We're way over here on the left and... What we're going to do is we're going to do a little curve around for the tail and we're going to bring it back. Now, interesting fact about the kangaroo's tail is they, they use their tail like a fifth leg. So they have, they have these big, huge legs that they use for pouncing and then they have smaller arms making up for their legs, but they use their tail also like a back leg. They do. Now, before I go too much further, I'm going to switch to my bucket and I'm going to fill in these shapes. Because like uh, Cameron said, this orange is very light. It can be kind of difficult to see when you're, when you're drawing. All right, so I'm going to go back to my pencil. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to make that mistake and try to paint bucket everything. So these back legs, well, they're going to be right in front of the tail and they're just going to come down with a vertical line and then they're going to reach out pretty far over here to the right. And this is a narrow shape. So the t t feet aren't really very thick. They're mostly just flat. And the second leg, we're going to see it also, but because it's digital art, we're going to leave a little gap in there so that we don't show any overlapping. If we overlap, we have to change colors. So we're just going to keep it the same color and we're going to put it right up above, just like that. And I'm going to pause at this moment and fill both of them in with my paint buckets so that you can see them more clearly. So there she goes. And Dylan, by the way, I saw your kangaroo, your koala bear that you did. Ooh la la, she was really good. You did a great job ah. on that. Hey, ah. you sound like an old man. You're like, hey, ah. <laughs> where's my? Oh, yeah, my cane? <laughs> Somebody fetch me my cane. Can <laughs> <laughs> go get it for my cane bag? <laughs> I need a cup of coffee. Huh? Huh? That's what old men say. Huh? Where's somebody fetch me my hat? All right. Um, we need some arms on this beauty. So we're going to leave lots of room here in her tummy. We don't want to crowd up this space. We're going to bring her arms right to the base of her neck. This is where her shoulders would be. And therefore, this is where her arms are going to extend off of the body. And we're just going to curve them down. I don't know why kangaroos hold their little hands in a downward position, but they do. And we're going to bring it back to the body. Boom. We're going to do another little arm just up above it. Not right, not using the same line, leave a little gap, do another little arm, curve it around and make the same shape. And then fill those in with your paint bucket. <laughs> now I'm going to go back to my pencil tool and I'm going to give her a little bit of a hand here. Uh, so I'm going to give her some little, a few little fingers, maybe two or three just so her hands don't look so weird there with no little paws on there. So let me see, did I make her look more weird or less weird? I don't know, let, let me fill that in and see. Oh, that's not so bad. Some little paws. <laughs> All right. Now, I do, I do not love this horizon line cutting through my kangaroo's body. And so to fix this, I'm back on my pencil tool and I'm going to take the pencil line size and I'm gonna kick it up. 
so that my pencil line gets bigger. And then I can come in here and just pencil away that line, get it out of my kangaroo's body. While I'm at it, I'm gonna come over here and get rid of a few more of these that are bugging me, like this one right here in her head and right here at the base of her ears. I don't want that in there. I'm gonna scooch that out of there. Now, if you ever get a chance one day to use Photoshop, Photoshop does not leave those lines behind, but these free digital art websites, they tend to do that. So I'm gonna, now that I'm done, I'm gonna scoop my pencil line way, way back down to 10, because that's the number I've been drawing with. I think it's been 10 or maybe it's been 12, somewhere like that. Why is the time going so quickly? You, you're asking me why time passes quickly? Uh-huh. Mm. That sounds more like rocket surgery to me. I don't know. Stop some rocket surgery. Okay, I will. All right, I'm going to make the baby kangaroo this darker orange. And so right here in her tum-tum, we're going to put a little curved line for a pouch. Yeah, well, that's where the baby's going to go. And we're going to... Fill it you don't want to what? No, I said I don't want to fill it in dark. I don't want to fill it in dark orange. Well, you pick your own color then. Do it. Do your own thing. No, because I was gonna make the pouch, but then I didn't realize that was on my paint bucket. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so and then we're gonna make the same kind of head. So we're gonna do a circle for the head and a little half curved oval for the snout. Oh, I did a terrible job on that curve. What in the world is that? There we go. That's better. Mine looks like a dinosaur snout. And then give her some ears. Oh my goodness, don't forget her ears. She needs those so she can hear things. And then we're going to bring a neck and we're going to bring the neck Make it a shape and bring it right down to the pouch. Okay. And once, once you have that, yeah, it's time to paint bucket and fill in those shapes. Those little crosshairs right in the center is where you can line up your paint bucket, right in the center. So she's a little bit darker so that we can see her just so she doesn't blend into the mother's pouch. Dylan, are you having some troubles? <laughs> You're good? Okay. Wonderful. Okay. It is time to add some details. So for this, I am going to use black. I'm going to give um, my Kangas some eyes and a nose with, with my black color. I'm going to start with the mama and her nose goes right up here on the top. Oh, why is it still orange? Oh, I'm on the paint bucket tool. There we go. Oh, oh, what happened? How did I do that? Ah, oh, this little arrow right here. I know. Look at that. Did you know that? What's, did you already yeah, know that? Yeah, sorry, oh, know and, that. And you I kept it a secret? Did. You kept it a secret? I remembered. Well, did you hear me say I remembered? Uh, no. Well, I remembered everything. Come on, come on. Has it been three months? <laughs> There's all these beautiful browns in here we could have been using. Oh my goodness. Well, that's it's not, not too, brown. you know what? It's not, they are brown. Look at that. Tell me that's not brown. Watch. Boom. That is as brown as brown gets. <laughs> now my kangaroo's brown. Looks like that. He's glowing. The <laughs> um, I think he just went into mud. So. That's right here. Uh, if you go to this black dot and you click the white arrow, it'll open mm -hmm. up your, it'll open up all of these beautiful colors. You don't even have to go into the color picker and choose them. You've got all these beautiful shades of uh, shades and tints and tones. It's wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna choose a, uh, a dark brown for the nose. And I'm gonna make sure I'm on my pencil tool and I'm gonna come over here and add the nose. So many things to discover. Turn 
Yeah, Vader bucket. And, you know, if you learn new stuff, you know, just say, I'm just saying, you could share it with everybody. <laughs> you know, if you figure something out, <laughs> go ahead and share it. I'm just teasing you, Nathan. What? <laughs> what do you mean? All right. And so the eye, her eye goes right here. I'm just going to do a little curved line for her eye like that. Of course, you hey, know. That's fascinating. What is? I don't have the cement thing. You don't have what? I don't have the my plank glass that has the the X the the plus on it. I don't have it. The zoom? You don't have the zoom? Uh oh. <laughs> Impossible. You have to have the zoom. Mm. Well. I'm so sorry to hear that, but we do have to I give the baby. We have to give the baby a nose and an eye also. Oh, you're so cute! Hey, don't copy me. I do close eyes. Oh, I did them first. You copied me. Oh. All right. So listen, we've got all the basics on here, but now it's time to have some fun with these exciting tools at the top. Now that we've now that we've muddled our way through all of uh, the drawing tools, let me share with you. I know you know some of these, Nathan, you'll remember, but Dylan, check out these tools up here. Pick any one of these weirdo um, buttons and watch what happens when you draw with them. We get all of these different kinds of line qualities. So we can use these as textures. So we're gonna be drawing some bushes and you want to find one of these lines that you like that you think would be fun to draw some bushes in the background with. I am probably going to use, I don't even know, why is that one weird? I don't know. I like this one that I was just using. Was it this one? I like this line a lot. It's got a great texture. Um, and I'm going to use that, but in green, I want some green bushes. So I'm going to choose a nice color green. And I'm going to use this fun line and, and shape in some bushes in my background. I wonder if I can paint bucket these. Do you think it'll fill in? Oh, it will. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Amazing. All right, I'll tell you what I'm doing. You're going to keep it a secret? Yes, okay. until the end of the class, which All is right. going to be in. A good um, surprise. I love it. Five minutes. All right, I'm gonna do a bigger bush down here. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. And I'm gonna fill it in. That is so exciting. Okay. Well, and you know, there are usually some sort of mountains, uh, low, kind of like a low lying mountains in Australia where we might see kangaroos in the wild in the outback. So I'm going to choose uh, a brown color from my drop down menu, but I'm not going to go with the, I don't want the same brown that my kangaroo is. So I chose a different brown. And with my pencil tool, I'm going to come here into the background and I'm just, oh, I don't want that line. I don't want that line. I want a regular line. So I'm going to go back over here to the first button. And I'm just going to draw this weird kind of mountain shape. That's a bit flat. There are mountains. The I don't have back. They're not real tall and curvy. They're, they're kind of flat across the top. Not sure why. Something to do with their ecosystem and their environment. Let's see if I can fill that in with my bucket tool. Yes. Yes, I can. I'm sorry, Nathan. Were you experiencing some kind of issue? I was about was... to say don't have room, but then I realized it. Doo, 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 doo. Wonderful. Okay, what does this one do? I feel like this one does something fun. Uh, not really. What is this? Try the... No, I just did that one. Try the last one. Is it the last one that I love? Let me see. Oh, the last one is good. Wait, it was the bubbles. Are the bubbles fun? Where are they? 
blub, 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 blub. I'm going to make some clouds out of that. So I'm going to choose white and there, and I'm going to add some, some weird looking clouds to my sky. Oh, put one over here. I'm going to do a small cloud because, you know, did you know that clouds could be far away also? So if you yeah. make, your, if you make your clouds, yes. if you make your clouds really small, they're going to look like they're farther away, far away clouds, hmm, something to think about. Clouds can be really big and close to us, or they can be really far away from us. My clouds are, no, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to do a big cloud right there. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And I think I'm going to add uh, another bush down here in the in the front. So I'm going to go back to that, that weird texture that I like. Pick another green. And maybe a darker green. And do a bush down here. A big bush. Oh, I think that might be really too big, but we'll see. Bigger than my kangaroo. It's bigger than the kangaroo. What in the world? That looks like a that looks like a hole. Uh, it'll be a pond. I'll fill that in. Let me fill that in blue. It's a hole that they're about to fall in. Because I know really it's doesn't... like a it's like a portal. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. How do you do that? <laughs> so now it looks like a pond. Look at that. I turned my mistake into something um, beautiful. Um, how did you do that? Um, how did I do what? Oh, wow. Um, that grassy look. Oh, it's one of these. It's this one right here. Really? Yep. Are you sure? Positive. And so I like that grassy look. And you know what? You can even, uh, well, not bluegrass. <laughs> We're not in Tennessee. Um, you can make green grass using that. You can put some green grass all through here. You could turn this whole thing into textured grass if you wanted to, but do I want to? I don't know. I may have just gone crazy here with all of this green grass everywhere. <laughs> ah, it's like more portals. <laughs> oh no. Why does, why does it look like they're about to fall like a pod? I'm gonna see. Oh, I can't undo it. It's it, it, That's as far back as it'll let me undo. Well, you know what? I, I have the solution for that. I'm gonna stay on my pencil and I'm gonna make a really big line and I'm gonna come in here. Oh no, not that one. Uh, now I need to just wait a minute, plus. it'll let you undo again. It will? Let me try, if I, I'll, I'll wait a minute. Thanks for that tip. Do you see how she shared what she knew with me, Nathan? <laughs> uh, I don't know anything else. <laughs> Oh, you're so funny. You're funny. I don't know okay. how to say. So I'm, you know, I'm just going to use my color picker and I'm going to grab the ground color if it'll let me. Oh, where what? did I go? What happened? Um, can I ask you a question? You can. Why is the kangaroo going in the pond? Maybe she's thirsty. Did you ever think of that? Um, no, she's already, she, okay, fine. She's a thirsty kangaroo. You try hopping around in the outback without some water to no, drink. No, I'm just making a hole. Hmm. There we go. I can just cover it all up like this. Cover up all that weird grass I put everywhere. <laughs> I thought I was on to something and I made a mess. Of it. All right, I think that is just about it for this design for today. I'm going to invite you guys to share what you did. And then we're going to talk about how to save our work. I know how to save. Well, la di da. Well, aren't um, you king of the world? <laughs> um, someone is in Hawaii. <laughs> what you, would you say? I said someone's in Hawaii. Someone's in Hawaii. Who is it? Unicorn? Um, Dylan. Is Dylan in? Oh! <laughs> Dylan. She's been transported to paradise. Do, 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 do. 
Nathan, do you want to share? That's another bra- background flutter. I love it. Nathan, mm-hmm. do you want to share your um, artwork with us? Share it, share it, share it. Oh, very nice. This is I a hole, and that's the, like, the glare of the sun, so that's why they're closing their eyes. Sun glares. What an interesting thing to add to your artwork. That, I, um, lo- I love that mountain that you put behind your... The colors that you layered there with the mountain and your kangaroo, those are very nice. Good job. Um, when I did the sun, I, I pressed on those like whole features is above the yellow circle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, now she's, she's in Alaska in the Northern Lights now. Did you know they have Northern Lights in Iceland too? So maybe you're in Iceland, I don't know. I am right. in Iceland. It. Tip it down. Tip it just a little bit. Can't quite. There we go. Tip it back. That looks terrific. Very nice job. I love it. You rock. You're awesome at this. Very cool. Okay. So listen, I did record this lesson. So uh, maybe you and Cameron can watch it again and she could. She probably might need some help from you, uh, but I know you're you're you totally got what it takes. Hey, she's in she's in San Francisco, she's in California, in San Francisco. I think I would have a heart attack if I had to drive across that bridge. I think it might make give me heart failure. <laughs> I I don't get it. I'd be scared. That's what I'm trying to say. It's you mean you drive so long? Yeah, over the over water. Yeah, I've got a I've got a fear. Of <gasps> She's in outer space. She's an astronaut. All right, so you know what I have to show you is how to save your artwork. But Nathan, you just press the arrow. Nathan already knows it. He already knows how to. Where is the arrow, Nathan? It's what? below the black dot or your brown dot. Right here. Ah, yes all the way over on the left side bottom row let's click it and see what happens Uh, which one do you press again well i think we're going to click this blue button that says download download let's click that and that should save it to your computer yes it does it saves it directly to your computer just like clucky will do for you except for pixel art and then that's it. let's see was it it's asking me to do more stuff that's it so it has been saved mm-hmm. wonderful all right do you guys have any questions for me no we're good um, wonderful what's up for like the background it says that when i deleted the space in the plan this It said that I have to like put photos in it, so photos in it. That's a different one. Oh, you're talking about the virtual background that Dylan is using. Uh Uh-huh, so like you put videos or photos in. Yes, you that you have to, you're gonna need your parents help with that because it's asking you to upload photos to zoom and so i'm not i don't know where you guys keep your photos and all that uh i don't have any photos well i'm saying that will be a conversation to have with your mom and dad can help you with that my god no i know you weirdo it looks like a very big all right you guys have been wonderful as always i'll see you guys next wednesday evening we are going to have some fun with some tasmanian devils and we're going to do that stop motion uh website okay so i'm looking brush ninja all right right, bye kiddos